The death toll climbs past 7,000 after last week's powerful earthquake. Aid continues to pour in from here and around the world, but the Nepalese couple uh, living in Tucson is worried supplies may not be getting to those who desperately need them fast enough. A 9 News Science, Keaton Thomas joins us now. Keaton. Well, good evening, Val and Christina. So first, I met with uh, Peru Shrestha and his wife at 9 News Science fundraising effort with World Care. On Thursday, we collected money and hygiene products to send to Nepal. But now Shrestha says the supplies, like those we helped gather, are moving too slow. This was sort of a shock to us. Peru Shrestha and his wife are from Nepal. They've been in Tucson for about six years now, but their hearts are a world away. Me and my wife have a very extended family, and uh, they mostly live in Kathmandu. Shrestha says his family is mostly fine, but they tell him the rest of Nepal. Things are really bad. The country's rough terrain means distributing relief supplies can take time. But Shretz's family tells him that many of those supplies coming in, like from Tucson, are already first backed up in extensive customs inspections. It has delayed quite a bit to uh, reach the supplies to the most affected places. Publications like the New York Times are saying the same thing, but Shrestha says part of the reason is experience. The Nepalese government never had the experience of this magnitude. Uh, they are really not prepared for that. Moving forward, Shrestha says he's grateful for the support here in town and he wants to make sure it continues because... The problem uh, in Nepal is going to be for many, many years. The Nepalese Prime Minister said in interviews that the red tape for bringing all these supplies will eventually stop and Shrestha said he and his family, or he says for the next, for his family as well as the rest of Nepal that they are looking to rebuild, but that will take a couple of years. Keaton Thomas, KGO 9 on your side.